On stage 4 of the Hexatrack is a very interesting alternative route. A 21 km canoe adventure down the River Tarn. You leave the main official Hexatrack route and follow a pink line all the way along the river and then rejoin the main route 21 km later. This alternate route was incredible and there was beauty around every bend of the river. There were plenty of challenges along the way. At one point, I found myself wedged up against a tree. <laughs> this alternate route starts in Saint Enemy, which is about 200 kilometers into stage four. I was now on day 71 of my Hexatrek through hike, and that morning I had one thing on my mind. Hike into town, rent a canoe, and go on a river adventure. I headed straight into town and straight to the canoe rental yeah. place and the first thing the lady said to me was sorry you can't rent a canoe it's too late okay very very interesting i've now paid 30 euros to get a canoe i've got to walk down the road a little bit to the place where you get in the river and they at first they wouldn't let me get a canoe because it's too late in the day. I can't have any breaks, they said. I need to just keep canoeing all the way down the river. So I can't hang about. I've got to be quite quick to get to where I need to be. And they said my bag's too big to put in a barrel. So they're gonna take my bag to a place that I have to be at for 6 p.m. It's currently 20 minutes past 11. So I've got about six and a half hours to get down the river about 21 kilometers to get my bag and if I don't get there for 6 p.m they take my bag back here and then I'm just in a bit of a nightmare I'll have to hitchhike and get my bag somehow. So with my receipt in hand and the relief of being allowed to rent a canoe and head down the river I headed down a dangerous little tunnel down a track and joined the queue to get my canoe gear. I dropped off my backpack and with my barrel in hand, I headed down to get my canoe. At this point, I was very excited to get into the water. I strapped my barrel to my canoe and headed off. And the moth. And I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. And they've advised me that there's a waterfall that I've got to get out and try to traverse. Uh, I can't go over the waterfall in the canoe. Um, I've got to do it by hand and I'm not, I can't do too much filming just because of the difficulty of trying to canoe and hold a phone and not get my phone wet. I do have like a little wet bag like to put my phone in so hopefully it doesn't get too wet. And I've got a barrel on the back which has some water and my important, import, a few important things that I didn't want to part with. One being a passport, <laughs> don't want to leave that behind. Let's get into this. Let's have some fun along the river. Even though I had a time limit and had to be at the end of the section before 6 p.m. to pick up my backpack, I found myself lost in the beauty of this river. I kept stopping to enjoy the beautiful views. about five kilometers into the into the route now and I've just found this little cave that I'm exploring and so far it's been a lot of fun there's like loads of little shallow bits like little rapids that you sort of gotta point your canoe and there's a lot of times that if you don't point your canoe in the right place then you just sort of get beached on the on the really shallow rocks and you gotta get out of your canoe and like dislodge it and then carry on again so that's happened a few times so far but it's a beautiful day and it's really nice just going down the river and exploring it but there is a headwind so I do have the wind in my face so it's making it very very challenging to to use the paddles and my legs are strong from 71 days of hiking but my arms are not strong so it's it's really hard work Oh 
not made it just over halfway and I have to stop and check in at a little checkpoint. Hopefully I've made it here in plenty of time. It's now three o'clock and they said if I get to this checkpoint in time then they let me carry on and if not I have to pick up my bag here and find my way back to the trail from here. I think I've made it here in plenty of time. I'll see what they say. Good news, I'm allowed to carry on along the River Tarn. So she, the lady said that it's about 11 kilometers here to the, to the last stop and it takes about two and a half hours to do. And I have three hours to do it in. So I'm on schedule, it's all good. She said I can continue on. It's been a lot of fun so far, but it's been tough. It's been tough on the arms. Yeah, it's quite an adventure at the moment. Uh, I think we'll have a 10 minute break, have something to eat quickly, and then we need to crack on along the river. There's so many of those little rapids to get through. They're every like three or 400 meters, and you sort of just kind of weave your way through them and look out for the big stones. But there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of nature as well. There's so many fish along the river, and the water's really clear, so you can just see see the fish. It was so peaceful canoeing down the river. The weather was perfect. The views were beautiful, and it made a nice change of pace from hiking all day. are incredible. They're so high. Go all the way up. It's amazing geology here along the river. Right at the end of the section, the water pushed me towards a tree and lodged me up against it. I was stuck. <laughs> the only way out was to get out of my canoe and drag it to safety. After six hours of canoeing down the beautiful river Tarn, I arrived at the end of the section. It's 25 minutes past five and there's no bus here or anything at the moment. I made it here with a little bit of time to spare because the woman that said that at the start, she was like, six o'clock, we're going to go and your bag is going to go back to the start. So I'll be stuck here without a tent or a backpack or anything. So I was uh, sort of making my way along, not having any breaks, just to make sure that I got here on time. But I have about 20 or 30 minutes to chill, eat some food now. But that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So I give a little bit different one off through hike. Just before six o'clock, a little van arrived with my backpack. And at this point, I realized that I haven't been without my backpack for two okay. months. Well, it was much. nice to be reunited with it. I've got soaking wet feet. My shorts are a bit wet. And I now have three kilometers of what I think is quite a dangerous road to walk down to get back to the get back to the trail so that's not ideal but can't complain that was a lot of fun going along the river the fact that it's an official part of the Hector trek yeah just made it just made it a lot of fun a lot a lot of fun if you're ever planning to hike the Hector trek or just hike stage four of the Hector trek I highly recommend doing the alternate route and renting yourself a canoe and doing just over 20 kilometers along the river but I got there at about quarter past 11 which is pushing it for time really so if you're going to do the canoe section on the hexa trek try and get there at about nine o'clock it'll give you a good couple of hours to have a break halfway through and enjoy the beaches along the way i've now made it to the road i've got to do three kilometers back to the trail and then i'll carry on hiking for a little bit find somewhere to camp so I hope you've enjoyed my day 71 of hiking the Hexa Trek, or should I say canoeing in the Hexa Trek. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.